Hi guys, I was going through my parts just the other day and I found these pieces and I was thinking, what do I use these for? That's a bit strange. And when they connect them together, they've actually got a bit of a swinging motion. It's actually an articulated hinge plate. Now when I looked at the BrickLink store, I found these selling for only a few cents each. So I thought, what could I do with these? So I ordered a couple more and I came up with this little guy. He's a little snake. But he's just not a normal snake. He moves like a real snake. But the fun in playing with this snake is when you pick him up. Because you can actually do some pretty cool movements with him. And he moves around. And if you just sort of tilt it around a little bit, he sort of wants to hit the camera. I don't know if you can see, but he's, with just a little movement, he actually moves quite interestingly around. That's it. So, do you want to make this cool Lego snake? You'll need to find some articulated hinge plates, but let's do this. Okay, making this articulated snake is pretty easy. We'll just take off some of these pieces here. Now each part of the snake has just two of these plates joined together. So we pop them on like that. And you wanna alternate them between up and lower just to make sure that the snake doesn't get too high off the ground. And similarly with this other piece, you wanna do the same. So when you add them together like that, they then make this snake. Then you wanna get some one by one slopes and just pop them on top. Now if you wanted to do a snake, well then you would just simply do them this way and it probably doesn't matter what color you've got because it'll look cool anyway. So you go ahead and do this for the rest of the snake. Now the last bit here is the tail and we've just used four of those one by one slopes and we're using some of these one by two ramps just to finish it off the tail and give it like a little rattler. So we'll pop this back on now. And this one back on. And you can make the snake as long as you like. It just depends on how much you can hold and how much movement you really want. Now let's have a look at the head. The head's just made up of these slope pieces. Again, it's another one of these plates and I've just got some inverted slopes at the bottom. I put a couple of studs in there for the teeth and I found these pieces in my Lego. Not really sure where they're from, but I also found this guy. So if you wanted a scary crocodile looking thing, you could actually put that in front instead of the snake. But I like these best and I always like these eyes. So we'll pop this on top like that. So you've got a wider top and a smaller bottom. And then we just go ahead and we join that up. So go ahead and see if you can find the parts for this snake on BrickLink and have a little bit of a play and fun yourself. He's pretty cool. I like how he's pretty solid. And these articulated plates are literally only a few cents each. So go ahead and buy some today. So until next time, it's bye for now.